All right, so what's up, guys? That Thirst here, and um, I'm so excited right now. Um, I'm about to make a video about unboxing a Zippo, um, a Zippo lighter, matte orange. It's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna come at um, eight o'clock, but it came so early. It's only like twelve right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. All right, so I got it. Sorry if it's upside down. If you're looking from the upside down, but you know. I'm just so excited right now, so let's open it. Like, okay, so let's open it from the side over here. Okay, let's open right here. Well, let's open it from over here. Right over here. Is it, where's the other side? Or it doesn't come with it? Oh, here, let me get my um, Zippo stuff over here. Okay, since this part is open right over here, let's open it from the middle. Right just down there. Okay, opened it. What the heck is this? What kind of packaging is this? Alright, so here it is. Be honest, I don't even know if it's fake or not. Genuine. I think it's genuine because I just saw a video. See my GoPro to turn it off. Sorry about that, but it's genuine. As you can see, it's not rough. It's a gray right here. Zippo logo. Ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, has that thing? I feel like there's a little bit scuff on here. Come on. Yeah, right there. I don't know if you can see it. Like, just take this off. This says right over here. No babies. So, let's take that off. Let's just place it right behind this thing. Because that's what ICB people usually do. Okay. Let's place it right behind this. Let's see what this thing says. Okay, so it's like an addish thing. I'm going to... Sit over here so you guys can see, so it's not backwards. Hot products. This is like a adjustable flame, zippo candle lighter, flex neck, and hand warmer. Okay, this is like a um, like instructions. So let's fold that right over here. Let's see if we can get it. Just fold it and put it back right in this area. Guarantee any zippo pocket lighter will, who in return to our factory will be put in our first class mechanical condition for your charge. Okay, okay. So let's open it. Oh, oh no way! So cool. Oh, just made it smart. Oh my gosh. See if you could take it out. Okay. No way, dude. I actually got it. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to also teach you how to, um, how to, um, what to do when you first get it. I saw a YouTube video. Just ran downstairs to get, show my dad. So I got it. It looks pretty genuine to me. It's the bottom. 2017. Made in USA, D. Flint. Close the lid, put it out, keep away from children. That does not self extinguish. Yeah, I think it does. Okay, so I heard it's supposed to just take this thing out right over on the bottom. See if I could do it with this knife. Nope, I can't. So I'm going to get my, um, my, uh, it's called my multi tool. You guys might also want to be, like, have this, like, this multi toolish thing. So, to help maintenance thing right here. So, let's get out this thing over here. I think there's a tool in here that will help. Just, just use this one. To be honest, I don't even know what most of these tools here are used for. Let's just use this one right over here. Yeah, 
Yes, it works. Okay, so once you unscrew this thing over here, once you unscrew this thing, move this all, all the way, it will, um, the, it was like a spring, which also holds the flint right over here. New flint, put it right here. I also have a flint stuff that came with the fuel, four ounce too. So, um, now you're gonna want to pull this thing out. So, we're gonna use my little um, thing over here. So, just pull it out. So, yeah, once we got it out, we're gonna just do it like that. I think this is, you know, you, can we call these ramble cells or something? Let's just pull. There's five in total. So, well, that's one, two, Three, four, and just spread them out. And oh crap! I just messed it up. Oh. I got this on Amazon for like fourteen bucks too. Usually it's like thirty, so you know it's pretty good. Let me just squish it back together, I guess. Now you will want to plot this. The wick over here. Right over here. Just want to tighten it and get it straight again. So yeah, you're going to want the wick to be curved like this. So Because usually when they package it, it's like curved up all the way in here. So that it can't soak up the full fuel. So you're going to curve it into the rambosol. I think that's how you pronounce it. So... We're gonna start off. Okay, we're gonna start off by um. Oh yeah, you might see a ramsol here, but you don't need to take it out right in this area. You don't need to take it out because it's not really in the way. So you're gonna put it back in. I'm gonna just twist it right over here and put it back in. It's actually pretty hard put it back in. So let me just try it. finally got it in you're gonna want it at least flush with the top of this so it's like this you want to hold it in place so we're gonna have to curve this thing inside so just like that just like this right then after that we're gonna insert our rambasol in there let's just do this one Actually, let's just do this one so for that we're just gonna pinch it like this like so. For that we're gonna curve it again. By the way, if you guys don't have wicks, you can just like um you guys just can um um you guys can just Cut it out, the black stuff, and then reuse it again. Okay, so yeah, now we got it all the way curved in. Just keep on adding this in. We have to push really hard to um, get. It. So um, let's do the final last one. Okay, so once we got that in. I have to put it back in the fuel stuff. To be honest, I don't even know how much we're supposed to even add on here. Or how much fuel we're supposed to add in. But yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna have to add put it back in the flint through here. Add in this spring. 
screw it back in. Okay, this is actually pretty hard too. So, okay, I got it. Just wanna you're gonna want to tighten it. Make sure you get all of the cotton back in it. So once you get that in, dude, I'm just so happy I finally got it. Just make sure you push pretty hard. You don't want any cotton in, like you know. So to get that, you're gonna want to push. Put. Wait, was I supposed to? I messed up. So we're gonna want to push this thing back. Take this piece out and want to put that part in. What I forgot to do. Gosh, that thing came up with it. Let me bend that over. Like this. One. Bow all the way over here. Okay, now we're gonna add this thing first. Alrighty. So we got everything done. Now we have to just put this thing into it. Sorry about the lighting, guys. The only thing here is pretty cloudy today. I'm just using the sun as my uh, as my lighting system ish thing. Okay, so we got that in. Now we're gonna want to lift this thing and add some Zippo fluid. I don't really know how much, so I'm uh, adding like some until I know it's good. This is the four ounce, by the way, guys. So, yeah, I got some on my hand. Yeah, oh, it smells like uh, like Elmer's glueish thing. Crap, it's spilled. Bro, bro, bro. Mayday. I heard this thing evaporates easily, so we could just, like, put it out. I thought we were supposed to squeeze it. I thought it was one of those types. So let's just add in a little bit more. Okay, you think that's good? Just pat it down here. Wait a few seconds upside down. Just let it soak in. Close that back. Close this thing in. Okay. I added a bit too much on the wick over here. So I think that's that will be good. So um, let's just also put it in here. Yeah, that's good. Let's put it back in. See if it works. I don't know how it's supposed to be ready. Oh, it's working. No way. Dude, it actually worked. You can barely see it, though. I think I should add a bit more. I'm going to add uh, a little bit more um, lighter fluid. Okay, so the problem was I just had didn't add enough um, lighter fluid. So there we go. You can see it now. It's pretty cool. So close it. Turns off, I think. I think I added too much of the wick. Let me just push that down a bit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a big like and subscribe. Check out my other YouTube um, videos. Yeah.